We just ate dinner. <laughs> Hamburgers and french fries. <laughs> and I feel no matter how much I wash, I can't get the grease off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a greasy bastard. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> it's okay, the beard just saves, saves a little for later. Ew. Yummy. Jesus. That's nasty. Midnight snack. Mm. That's our opening, yay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do some Frankie Boyle. We have never ever seen Frankie Boyle. And many people have suggested this yes. one, Best of Audience Annihilation. So, so sorry it takes so long for us to get around to things, but we have a long list, like it just keeps getting longer and longer. It's huge. And it's hard to get to everything. But we hopefully will be doing this for a long time, so uh, unless the grease kicks in. <laughs> He's not allowed to die. I'll she won't him. let me. I'll find him. <laughs> I have to live. All right, here you we go. Have to listen to me anyways. Yes. <laughs> anyways. Somebody help, please. <laughs> what about you, man? That's a rather strange fucking injury you've developed there. What happened to you? Burnt myself. You burnt yourself? <laughs> that sounded awfully deliberate there. You know what I mean? <laughs> burnt myself. How did you burn yourself? You got burnt, now you've fucking changed your story. <laughs> <laughs> fucking one call to those fucking no fees lawyers and suddenly you got burnt at work. <laughs> a minute ago you burnt yourself. <laughs> You're gonna fucking fold in the witness box like a red hot Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Um, I work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit and uh... You work for a company that makes a lot of hot shit? <laughs> I can see this starting to come together like the start of an episode of Casualty, isn't it? <laughs> How do you put your elbow in something hot? I just kind of brushed against it and I was fucked. I just brushed against it and I was fucked. <laughs> anyway. It's a lovely understatement to Scottish people, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't really get us in those kind of 999 rescue shows that America has, you know what I mean? I was driving along and I just kind of fucked the car into a tree. Uh, <laughs> I ended up fucked, the car was fucked. The uh, <laughs> tree was fucked. Uh, thank God there was no hot shit around. <laughs> I just jumped out and rammed my fucking elbow into it like a man. That's good. How are you doing, wee boys? A fucking wee boy with a receding hairline. How are you doing, Benjamin Button? <laughs> You've been hit with a death ray or something? What are you, are you a wee boy? Are you a fucking sort of fresh-faced old man? What the fuck are you? <laughs> the wee boy? Is this your parents? Fucking hell, you brought... You brought two... Don't worry. Your mum knows you wank. <laughs> Your mum wanks too. <laughs> There's a family moment. Oh my god. Sometimes your mum wanks your dad. <laughs> the only thing they don't know is that you wank thinking about your mum wanking your dad. <laughs> Well, hello, Hackney. I had a wee look round Hackney today. Looks like a fucking holding pen for the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> How you doing, little fella? You've made a fucking effort. Looks like someone shaved a monkey and kicked it through Top Man. Is that a game? I don't know. You've gone for it with the hair here, haven't you? You look like a moderately powerful Pokemon. <laughs> Why is he a giant version of you? You look fucking Russian dolls there. How you doing, big fella? How's life been since you played Mongo in the Blazing Saddles movie? <laughs> What'd you do, oh, big man? IT. IT. And you said that in a sort of, and my soul is dying. <laughs> Every time I sit in front of the computer screen. <laughs> what about you, Frodo? What's your story? <laughs> I called you, Frodo. Because you look like you've had your ring destroyed. I don't know. <laughs> what did 
do you do, mate? Photographer. You're a what? Photographer. You're a photographer? You're a trainee paedophile, sir. <laughs> you got Scottish people? <laughs> I love that to your Scottish people do where they think there's a lot more Scottish people in. Yeah, oh, we're surrounded. <laughs> where are you from, Scottish people? <laughs> you sound fucking... Oh, Paisley, he's, he's talked to you in shit town, talk Trump said. <laughs> Sorry, we've had a higher bid. <laughs> What's brought you down from Paisley? Drug. A raft made from turnips. <laughs> Although I quite liked your answer. Drugs. <laughs> I suspect that's your answer to a lot of questions. <laughs> oh my God. What time is it? Drugs! <laughs> Fife? Who's from Fife? The Kingdom of Fife. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts in Fife are you from? Dakota. Kirkcaldy. I have to explain this to them now. <laughs> Basically, Kirkcaldy, the town's pride took a bit of a knock recently when they found out that the people of Ethiopia were holding a rock concert for them. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing in London? Working. Working. There's a doer Scottish answer. <laughs> You're just going to bleed the information out gradually, aren't you? A fucking human riddle from Kirkcaldy. <laughs> My first is in windmill, but not in canal. <laughs> I work, but what do I work at? Guess again. <laughs> what do you work at? Consultant. <laughs> consultant. Do you want to go any deeper into the explanation, or are we just... Management consulting. Management <laughs> consulting. What are they managing? Not very much. Are they managing to find you quite an annoying cunt? <laughs> hey man, what do you do? You're a stockbroker. What about you, man? You're a plumber. Fantastic. How do you know him? Plumbers and stockbrokers. Friends, what the fuck do you talk about? <laughs> oh yeah, I made, made quite a bit of money uh, short selling on uh, Nike today. Yeah, really? I broke up a big job in a toilet. <laughs> How you doing, fucking Gigantor? You alright, man? <laughs> this guy, you're just fucking looking at me like I'm a big sausage holding a microphone, aren't you? <laughs> How you doing, big fella? What's your role in life? I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer? Fucking hell. <laughs> what type of law? Property. Property law. Could you be more worthless? <laughs> it's not often I'll say this. Not often I'll say this but you should stick your face in a meat grinder and go and live in the woods. <laughs> I don't mean this to sound horrible, I really don't. Oh but I could watch you being raped and not feel a flicker of emotion. <laughs> That's not true, I'd be angry they weren't That's killing awesome. him. Oh, God. Oh, let's go. <laughs> How you doing, me man? Are you a weird looking straight guy or a really weird looking gay guy? <laughs> I'd come on your face just to cover it up. <laughs> How much did I pay you? That was your fucking effort, was it? <laughs> when your mum gave birth, she shat you out so she could leave her pussy free for fucking the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use that one. Why not? Oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta re fucking remember that one. Holy oh, shit. That was good. Okay. Look, <laughs> well, you're getting a fucking hard time for getting your phone out, you dozy cunt. <laughs> Where you from? Any idea? Just looking up at me like your fucking cat started talking. <laughs> You've got a blind face there, pal. If you held that expression for long enough in a hospital, you get fucking switched off. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. You're from Belfast. I've heard a bit about Belfast. Apparently you have some religious worries over there. We've... We don't really take any opinion of it. It's none of our business, to be honest. <laughs> what brought you over? The ferry? You working here? No, on the brew. On the brew? 
listen to how popular that's made you in the room there. <laughs> fucking 400 years on Irish immigration, still a fucking issue for these people. <laughs> I'll give you a job, man, because we might need to fight our way out of this fucking thing at the end, OK? <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? You're doing fucking well for yourself, man. <laughs> but you, her parents just wish that you'd hurry up and murder her so they could grieve properly. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they in tears every time they see Shrek? So there's two empty seats right in the middle. This is supposed to be sold out. Where are they? I hope they're dead in a fucking car crash. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you guys here in your fucking waistcoats and your suits and... I mean, don't answer cunts, cos I can fucking see that. <laughs> what are you doing fucking jumping about Glasgow in a fucking morning coat with a side pattern? <laughs> I've had people shouting me in this city from a moving car for wearing gloves. <laughs> gloves, you prick. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> Fucking hell, are you on some kind of poverty safari? <laughs> Who are you? Where are you from? Uh, Glasgow. You're from Glasgow? <laughs> Where the fuck about are you? <laughs> Fuck, have you not been picked off? <laughs> what do you do? Inside you, you're, you're Pollock. from... You're from Pollock? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> have you quantum leaped here from an alternative Pollock? <laughs> Got to a stage now where people come up and talk to me in the street, and I fucking hate people. <laughs> Arseholes are attracted to me in the same way that a store detective is attracted to a 2002 Celtic away top. <laughs> I have no idea what he said there. People come up to me and they say, Frankie, what should I do if an ex-girlfriend phones me up and tells me that she's HIV positive? Oh. oh. And I say, the trick is to always act surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I tell you why I'm like what I'm like, Johnny? Nice. I think I can explain myself to you. When I was a wee boy, my granddad used to take me up into the loft. Oh no. He'd take down a chest that he had up there. He'd open up the chest. Do you know what was in it? A mermaid. And he'd have me strip naked as a wee boy and make love to that mermaid on the floor while he watched for his sexual gratification. Now, years later, when the old bastard was dead, I went back up into the loft. I took down the chest and opened up. Do you know what I found in there? Dead monkey with its legs sewn together. <laughs> you remind me of that monkey, Johnny. That's our dog. Oh my god, he's fucking brutal. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. That was absolutely hilarious. Oh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> that, that was good. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a show in itself, isn't it? Just watching. It is, yeah. Just watching an audience get roasted. like. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, I'd love to get roasted at the comedy show. <clears throat> and I bet you he picks like the, probably the, the most shyest looking people. It'd be more fun to get somebody who's yeah, shy, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want some like guy that's right into it necessarily. Mm -hmm. Shouting over you and that. Yeah, somebody too opinion. aggressive, maybe. Yeah. I, I like it. I think it's fun. Getting the pasties. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't stick it back out. Got munchies. <laughs> pasties in the munchies. What have you been doing? So, Cadbury <sighs> cream eggs. <laughs> Minis. It's almost Easter. <sighs> yeah. No, it is. <laughs> Chocolate's on sale. All right. <laughs> Great. I gain another 10 pounds. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> all right, here we go. I mean, there we go. We're all done. I'm starting the video now. We'll talk to you next time.